have you ever felt have you ever felt frustrated in the past few weeks i have today i i have want to talk to you about acceptance i haven't been on very much lately because i haven't frankly been in the mood and it has been very very hard for me to be consistent and so today i thought i would come I would come on and just be very vulnerable and hopefully I can be helpful to some some of you and I have the ability to bring you on um, on the program if you'd like to join me just put it in the chat that you'd like to join make sure I can see it um, and I, I can bring you I can bring you on with me as long as I have that part up Let's see if I have it up. Um, anyway, so acceptance. I was on my path. I was working. I was living my life. I was making plans. Everything was going great. And then coronavirus came. I didn't realize that I was going to be in isolation. And last week, I started becoming really frustrated and anxious. And I'll tell you a little story. I have a friend named Sharon Trivatsa, who is one of my mentors, actually. And about a year ago, he said something. And he, he said something that really touched me, and I'll never forget it. He said, success does not happen in isolation. Because we were talking about how you need people around you to be successful in life. And right now, I'm completely isolated. And so last week, I was feeling frustrated and anxious. And it took me noticing my reactions to things and how when I was listening to things and to podcasts and programs and watching things online that I usually love, they were annoying me. I mean, I would turn on these, you know, these podcasts or these webinars, 10 or 15 minutes into it, I was so bored that I would turn it off. I'd have to turn it off. And because, I mean, viscerally, they were annoying me. And I had to look at myself and say, why is this happening? Like, I mean, I love these people. I, they're so brilliant. And I, I usually enjoy I mean, their, their daily offerings, but it's driving me nuts. And they all sound the same. They all sound the same. And, you know, what, what I realized is that they were all talking about coronavirus and they were making me more overwhelmed about things that I cannot change, like being alone and isolated, not being able to go to work, not being able to do my job as I'm used to doing it worrying about money, not being able to have my hair done or my nails done. Yeah, that I'm sorry, but look at these things. Look at this. Anyway, look, look. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. Um, so, <laughs> you know, and I, I want to be supportive to the community, to my clients, to my family. That's my nature to be supportive. And but everybody was, is saying, fight through this, you know, kick ass and winners get through this. And what are the five top things you're going to do during this pandemic? And, you know, you know, what are you, what are your plans and how are you going to come out of this better? And <sighs> how are you going to pivot your life? Ugh, yuck. What I realized is what was annoying me was the lack of acceptance. The lack of acceptance. 
I was annoyed with that because a lot, you know what? Like, it was kind of like looking in a mirror for me because, you know, I mean, let's put it this way. We need to accept this is awful. No one wants to fail. Nobody wants to lose their house. Nobody wants to be laid off. Nobody wants to be hungry. Nobody wants their car repossessed. I get it. And it's real. But why can't we just accept it's a shitty time, right? It's crap. Just accept it. I mean, I just feel like I need to accept this sucks without judgment and not judge myself for being upset. Just accept my feelings without judgment and go, you know what? I can still be a leader. I can still be supportive. I can still give to the world, but I can accept the fact that once in a while I can feel crappy. It's okay. And that's what I realized. I, I, I realized that I was uh, like doing reading and watching and doing all this crap to try to change my feelings and to not feel what I was feeling. And I am mad and I'm scared. You know, I can't work as I'm used to working. I can't go see my grandchildren as all the time, although Hudson has come over here because we, we are together anyway. And so it's not like we, we practically all live together anyway. So I have seen Hudson, but still, I can't see Olive. I can't see Brittany. I can't see my friends. I mean, it's horrible, right? And anyway, uh, so I felt like, like, why are they trying to change me? Why are they trying to change me? Right? How do they know how I should feel or any of us should feel? Nobody's ever been through this before, right? Nobody has ever been through this before. Um, nobody has ever been through this before. We don't know how we're supposed to feel. But we can have it all. We can accept that sometimes we're going to feel bad, but we sometimes can be on top of the world and still be that leader, that strong person, and it's okay. So some days I'm gonna say, I feel like crap and this sucks. And some days I'm going to not wanna get dressed and I'm going to wanna zone out on Netflix and, but, and I've been feeling like every day I have to work and I have to work on my CMA and I have to call clients, I have to do all this stuff. No, I don't. We're in a pandemic. We're, this, this is crap, right? So I can do whatever I want to do. It's not a vacation, but I don't have to work every day. And so I, I can do what I want. So anyway. That's just what I wanted to say. And I want to know if anybody else is feeling like this. Anyone else feeling like, you know, the, the world is trying to tell us that we're, you know, you can get through this and we're all in this together. And that's another thing. We are not all in this together because everybody's not, there's, it was posted, I'll post it in the comments here, but I saw it and somebody posted it again today. Somebody posted this really cool, um, I guess it's a poem, about we're all in this together. No, we're not. Everybody is not going through this the same way. Because you have women who are pregnant. Can you imagine being pregnant right now? I wouldn't leave my house. I, I wouldn't... I mean, that would be the scariest thing in the world to be pregnant right now, right? And, or to have a, a, a new baby in your house. Some people really don't have money or food, don't know where it's gonna come from. $1,200 stimulus check, I could spend that to spawn an hour. I mean, seriously, I could. And 
you know, I mean, really, I mean, everybody's situation is different. We, we're not in this together and we're not all gonna get through it the same way. So we have to have compassion and we have to have acceptance and we have to love one another. And so for me right now with my friends and my clients and my even people I don't know who are my leads, no, but some people wanna buy a house right now but that's not my focus. My focus is on people and how they're feeling and if I can do anything for them. And, you know, and yes, and like, let's talk about the future and let's talk about how you're feeling. This is a very confusing time because we really don't know when it's going to end. We don't, they say May 3rd. I don't know, May 3rd. What do you guys think? What do you think? I don't see anybody making comments or say, saying every, anything. Some people are. What says so? Camera effects. I hope there's no camera effects. So somebody said coronavirus developed a biological weapon for China. New 11 September, whatever that means. The world blames tiles. Add to broadcast. No, I'm not adding you. I don't know. I think I'm going to probably block you. Um, so anyway, I'd love to hear from other people how you're feeling. I don't know if anybody's really watching right now, but, um, please leave comments for me, you know, how you're feeling, because I want everybody to really accept if you're feeling bad, it's okay. You don't have to, you don't have to be happy all the time and you don't have to run a marathon and lose weight and do you know just like feel your feelings and if you're sad be sad if you're happy if you're happy and you're having a good day great and if you're lonely reach out to somebody you can call me my name my number's all over the internet and I'd, I'd love to talk to anybody because this is what I have look this is me it's me in this and she is she's she only likes me like if I feed her or if I'm, you know, if I have a blanket in my lap, right? Look, say hi. Don't we look alike? Yeah. So anyway, I am going to hang up the phone. Um, so I was just hoping that I would get some people that might want to tell me um, how they're feeling too or write comments or come on because I'd, I'd love to I'd love to get some um, some you know like I said I have the ability to get you right on here who's watching let's see I don't I can't see who's watching I see that there's people watching but I can't see who's watching so um, there's one person who's making weird comments. I'm so, I must be added, but I don't even know who that is. So this is public. So um, anyway, can anybody that's watching tell me how you're feeling? I'm curious. How's everybody feeling? What do you, do you, are you watching any of the, like I, I went to two master classes today that were awesome. They excited me and they made me happy and they made me feel good because they were make sense. They were real. There was no fluff. And that's what I like. I don't like the Kool-Aid. I don't want to drink the Kool-Aid and say, you, you got to pivot your business now and you got to do that. You know what? No, I don't. I mean, the business as I know it is not the same. So, and I'm not going to call people and say, hey, you, you, you know, you, 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 you called me two months ago about buying a house. Are you still interested? I mean, that's weird, right? That's just weird. I'm not going to do that to people. I'm not. It's weird. It's like, it's like, you know, with somebody's family member dies and you send them your business card, you know, it's just so, that, you know, cause they're going to have a house to sell. It's weird. I'm not doing that. It's about compassion and it's about humans. It's about people right now. So anyway, um, yeah, there's a master class. They're having it tomorrow too. I'll put the link and it's my friend Sharon Shrivatsa and Dean Aguilar. Really good stuff. Just about branding and Instagram and TikTok and 
really great stuff. Uh, so if you're, if you're a realtor, you will really like it. And if you have a small business, anybody, anybody, small business, insurance, real estate, retail, our bond, all, anybody. Good. So, all right, guys. So I will see you all again. I've, I just wanted to rant because I just, I've been thinking about this since last week and I, was, I just want y'all to know it's okay if you're feeling crappy and you're still a leader and you're still a winner. God bless you.